combined with factor 10, it activates factor A to combine with factor 9 as well as this VWF which stands for uh, Von Willebrand factor which is another protein that is needed to basically stabilize factor 8 it activates the complex that goes on to activate more of 10 to form this complex and thrombin also activates via positive feedback mechanism more of 11 and the 11 is needed to activate 9 so we see that we have a really extensive network of positive feedback mechanisms that ultimately grow greatly amplify, they magnify the number of blood clots that can be formed in this process. And this is important because as we know shock is a very dangerous medical condition and we don't want that individual to go into shock and so this has to be an extremely effective and efficient process and that's why we have many of these amplification positive feedback mechanisms.